we shall correct them. And we don't correct them according to laws, meaning God says don't kill. God says don't fornicate. Don't defile your temple. You understand? God says don't do those things. So by me telling you that, that means I love you, my brother. You understand? If now you are not telling your people that, I know that they hate me, Church come swing my low, come and save me Look at the vessel my low came and gave me He came with the army, ain't talking no navy Yeah, trying in that CK and wavy Yeah, ain't no more running the safety Yeah, all of this power that rock in my body There's no way that they can save me What does it mean if you don't correct your brothers? The meat get the blessing God's in the building, we kicking like tech it Want the reward so I'll keep them investing You sure in a form of hatred towards your brothers If you are not teaching them the same for Lord So what's the purpose of us being out here Right on the corner? Give me highways and heads in Luke real quick so we as the Israelites going to do what God commands us, do what Christ commands us, which is to go out to our people, right? Whether they want to hear it or not, we will come out and show our people what God says because the pastors have been lying to us too long, right? So let's read that. Is that Luke 13? Is it Luke 13 or something like that? Luke 14. Luke 14. Luke 14, Luke 14 real quick. All right, yes. me Amano. Amano, what's going on, brother? Come on up. Read that. Yes, come on. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. Yeah, you know. And the Lord said unto the servant, uh -huh. Go out into the highways and hedges uh -huh. and compel them to come in. So God says, go out to the highways and hedges and compel, compel, or force our people to adhere to the laws. You know what I'm saying? What are we doing that deems for the black woman to say she gonna call the police on brothers standing up against evil? That's some evil. That's some evil and hatred towards our people. Do you understand? What's going on, my sister? Come on up. How you doing? Because most of our people don't want to hear the correction that God needs to need to get them. Why? Because they don't know. What's happening, my bro? Just come on up and do it with me real quick. You my brother. You know what I'm saying? We out here for brothers who want to hear what the Bible truly says about them. You know what I'm saying? What's your nationality, bro? You're an Israelite, my brother. Let's go. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. So many of our people are coming back to understanding who they truly are. That's the prophecies of the Bible. You understand? So, my brother, are you complicating? You keep the guys lost? You know, man, I'm you knew that question was coming. Dang, the Israelites, they going to, you know what I'm saying? They going to get on me. You know what I'm saying? You know why we do that? Give me Leviticus 19 real quick. This is why we want to show our people who they truly are. Even when we come out and we see our brothers, especially when they know who they are. Why? Because one more added to preaching the word of God means one more step closer to salvation. That's right. Best believe that thing. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Read this. This is the book of Luke, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Listen to this, my sister right here with the dread, with the uh, locks. Listen to this. Listen to what God said. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right. So my brother, what's your name, bro? My Israelite brother. Raquan. Brother Raquan. Now, is hatred evident amongst our people? So it's safe to say our people hate each other. Right. Meanwhile, we look at each other as enemies have hatred towards each other when we're the ones who can make the change if we come on one accord. So the whole purpose for me telling you to keep God's laws is because I don't hate you, brother. You understand? So read that one more time. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So brother Raquan. I got a question for you. Give me Ezekiel 3. If, if you understand what that law just said, which is what? What did that law just say? Step closer so I can hear you, bro. Basically keep, keep God's laws. Basically keep God's laws. Okay, what else? Read it one more time. Go back to it real quick. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Number one, don't hate your brother in your mind, right? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What does that mean? 
don't rebuke your neighbor. No, we should rebuke our neighbors. What does it mean to rebuke? You can choose his name. Correct. Correct. We shall correct them. If we don't correct them according to laws, meaning God says don't kill. God says don't fornicate. Don't defile your temple. You understand? God says don't do those things. So by me telling you that, that means I love you, my brother. Right. You understand? If now you are not telling your people that to stop sinning against God, what does that mean? Not doing what God wants you to do. And what else it mean? Read, read from the top. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What does it mean if you don't correct your brothers? So what are you doing right now? You showing, yes, you're showing a form of hatred towards your brothers if you are not teaching them, thus saith the Lord. At least for the one that he called the election It's getting cloudy When our chariots come, then we out If you bout it